So up until now, we've been using base maps and operational layers that are publicly available, including OpenStreetMap as our base map and the post-primary school layer that we accessed from the Department of Education's hosted Arctis Online Services. I want to spend a little bit of time talking in a bit more detail about base maps, what base maps are available, how you can use them, and how you can access the OSI's Map Genie base map services within ArcMap. So the first thing to emphasize is that within ArcGIS, all maps, either web maps or desktop maps like these, are made up of a number of different layer types. These include what we call operational layers, such as in this case the post-primary school inventory, and base maps, which in this case we're using OpenStreetMap. Operational layers such as these can come from your own ArcGIS server services or can come from other ArcGIS server services that are publicly available. Base maps such as OpenStreetMap come with ArcGIS and are typically accessed by connecting your ArcGIS desktop session to ArcGIS Online. Because we make a, very, a variety of uh, base maps available with ArcGIS, this means you can get started very quickly with your GIS project. You can combine publicly available base maps such as OpenStreetMap publicly available open data sources such as this information on schools and a wide variety of other information that's available via ArcGIS Online for our To see which base maps are available you can just click on the add data and the add base map option. This opens up the gallery of base maps that come with your ArcGIS license. So all ArcGIS desktop installations have access to this range of base maps that are served directly by Esri via ArcGIS Online. I've been, <coughs> I've been using OpenStreetMap as the base map in the demonstration so far, but I want to click on the imagery uh, base map and add that to show you the sort of image quality that's now available directly in your ArcGIS desktop via ArcGIS Online. So if we switch off, off OpenStreetMap, we can now get the imagery base map. And as we zoom in on this, you can see the incredible detail that it offers for most of the country. This is really high quality, high definition base map that is available to you for free with ArcGIS. You can see that the performance is pretty good on these online base maps. But I want to show you a little tip that can help increase and the performance that you get in your ArcGIS desktop session when you're using base maps such as these. All of these base maps are served as cached base maps, cached web services, in a similar way to say the tiles from Google Maps. And one thing you can do to improve your performance is try and um, keep your display on a particular cache level. You'll see here I'm at 1 to 2000 257, which is one of the layers that this map is cached on, and that gives me nice slippy map um, performance. So again, I access that by clicking on this option of zooming to the nearest cache resolution. If you want to ensure that you're always zooming to the nearest cache resolution, you can actually alter the cache scales here on the list, or the, the, the set of zoom scales that are available on the list by clicking Customize on the list and loading the default scales from ArcGIS Online, Bing Maps, and Google Maps. And this ensures that as you zoom in or out, you're always on a particular uh, cached zoom level. So if, for instance, I want to go to just over one to a million scale, I can hit the cache at that scale. And if I want to go back in, just under 10,000 scale, I can hit the cache at that scale and I get the sort of performance that I would normally expect from a web mapping application, but this time within ArcGIS Desktop. In a similar way, you might want to add thematic data to your map directly from ArcGIS Online, which again you do by using the Add Data button and this time instead of Add Base Map, you click on Add Data from ArcGIS Online. ArcGIS Online then presents you <clears throat> with a range of data um, for Ireland because it knows that you're coming from Ireland. And if you actually want to be more specific, you can do a search um, using a particular tag. In this case, I'm just going to use Ireland as the tag. 
and it presents me with a range of information which has the Irish tag on it. You can see that there's a lot of different sorts of information that you can access and add to your map directly from Arctis Online. I'm going to look here at this uh, designated areas web service which is a popular web service that a lot of people use. You can see it gives me some information on what's in this web service and I can click on the add button to add that directly to my Arcus, sorry, my ArcMap session. And there it is added. I'm just going to switch off the schools. Now you can see the designated areas being overlaid onto the OpenStreetMap base map. And when I click on one of these guys, uh, it'll bring up its details. You can see this is Carn Park Bog National Heritage Area, and I can access its record directly on the NPWS website. I want to turn now to using Map Genie in Arctis Desktop. And I'm going to open an entirely new map session in order to do that. So Map Genie uh, is a series of map services provided by the Ordnance Survey Ireland. Uh, map Genie is a is a password protected um, map service system 